All right, what I have here is an upgrade of my weather station that I've had for a number of years. This is a Sane Logic Wi Fi weather station and comes with a lot of options, which I'm really impressed with. Um, it's got uh, an impressive weather data setup. You can experience the convenience of being able to access all kinds of weather information directly at home thanks to your thanks to this personal weather station from Sane Logic and you can set this up anywhere pretty much in your home whether it's uh, you know out outside in a greenhouse or in a workshop or inside your home in any room even a basement uh, you can connect with uh, current weather forecasts you can check your local weather and current conditions without ever turning on the news uh, the dynamic colored uh, forecast icons show what the weather is going to be for the day. It's also a Wi-Fi monitoring system that will monitor warnings if uh, any pop up. Uh, all data is transmitted wirelessly from the outdoor sensor to your base station. The display station can be conveniently placed anywhere in the home. Uh, it's got a wide range of functions. It's uh, basically a five-in-one outdoor sensor setup where it uh, consists of a rain funnel so you can get the uh, you know, I, or you can collect the basically the day's amount of rain from a storm that passes by. Um, also has the uh, a solar panel, a transmission module, wind vane, and a high speed anemometer for you know, collecting the wind speed and wind direction and transmits all the current information on temperature, humidity, air pressure, wind speed, wind direction, as well as amount of precipitation and UV radiation and much more. This Wi-Fi uh, weather station is also linked up with Weather Underground and Weather Cloud, where you can connect with your local Weather Underground or Weather Cloud station, which allows you to view and save, analyze, share, and compare data uh, from your local personal weather stations with uh, beautiful customized charts and graphs. And once you connect your station and report back to Weather Underground, you can receive uh, data hosting services, including uh, advertiser-free email notifications. So what I'll do is go ahead and open this up. We'll see what's included in the box and see what it looks like. All right, there we go. Okay. All right. Basically, so you've got your instruction manual and also a free gift if uh, you want through Amazon. But yeah, this is the Sane Logic WS0310 Professional Wi Fi Weather Station User Manual. So, this is the actual base station, as they call it. That's what it looks like before it's powered up. Go ahead and get out the actual system itself. Kind of move the box out of the way. So, yep, you got your anemometer here. So, this will be the way it's going to face. Just like this. So, this is the rain gauge. So, it'll measure the amount of rain you get. Again, for the day, there's your solar panel, the uh, wind vane, which is on the bottom, and then you got your little bubble here for, um, you know, you can see how, I guess, how level it is, wherever you mount it. And, of course, you got your mounting hardware, you got your mounting base which will grip around a pole, which is probably how I'm going to mount it. And the extension po post itself, go on like that. So yeah, that's what I'll probably do is just use some bolts to tack it onto my base of 
my old satellite system where I've got my old one. And I believe this is the actual extra hardware. Let's see. There we go. Okay, this is the AC adapter for the base station. Okay. Well, yep. So this is how the base would go and how I'm basically going to mount it using the hardware. So it'll wrap around the base of the satellite uh, base that I've got on my roof. So I'll probably take my old station down and put this new one up. And it'll, the bolts will just line up just like so. And I'll use the, or the brackets will line up like so, and I'll use the bolts to attach it to it. So what I'll do is go ahead and take it outside, and we'll go ahead and mount this. And I'll get the base station set up where it'll start receiving data from the weather station. Yeah, real quickly on the back of the... Uh, base station is you can use three AAA batteries to have it, you know, where you can move it anywhere in your house. So you've also got mounting holes where you can mount it to your wall and the stand where you can stand it up on a shelf or a tabletop, whether you're outside or inside, so you can get a good display of it. And that's where the power adapter would connect up right here if you want to just keep it in one location. So really, uh, yeah, this is a pretty good size display. I think uh, this is going to work out nice for, for my home. All right. So I got three AAA batteries. I'll go ahead and use those to power the base station here. So I've got the date and time set up. You can follow the steps in the instruction manual. They're pretty self-explanatory. So now I'm going to take it outside and so I pretty much got my indoor readings. So we'll see if we can go outside and get our outdoor readings. And also don't forget to put three AA batteries into the actual sensor tower. And then just put the cover on and screw it back in place. Don't press too hard so you, you know, damage the anemometer. There we go. Now let's raise it up. All right, so I just got done installing the uh, instrument setup. On top of my roof here, I took my old weather system down and mounted the new one, basically using the old one of the part of the old uh, mounts from the original ambient weather station I had. The screws are not long enough to get around the base of a satellite base, which is what I mounted it to. So I just used one of the poles from the old system and attached it to it. So yeah, I got it facing. Uh, basically due south as the sun basically comes up around this direction so it'll catch the solar panel get the best amount of rays but yep we are in position so now I'm going to go ahead and get the the uh, base station fired up and we'll test it out troubleshooting off camera I was having uh, issues with the wireless remote uh, not reporting to the console where I was just having dashes across the top for the outdoor uh, sensors and uh, you know, I was having an issue with my network trying to get it to connect for some weird reason but finally got it to connect up and now we're getting some some good readings 
try to prop this up a little bit so you can see it better on camera without the glare on the window there so okay yeah this light is just in a bad position but you can pretty much see now the outdoor temperature is 55 degrees with 65 percent humidity in my area winds are only 2.2 miles an hour so yeah it's really a nice fall day this morning here in the Piedmont of the Carolinas where I'm located so yeah um and one thing you can actually do is connect up with weather underground or weather cloud now I haven't tested that yet because I know the weather underground station here locally was shut down due to the COVID-19 um, issues around the area so I will probably experiment with that you know at a later date maybe do an update in the description if I get around to it but really I just wanted to go ahead and upgrade my um, my outdoor weather station with something more modern and this is definitely a, uh, a good setup I love the display this display is really large and you know the colors of course it's also telling you the uh, weather conditions in a picture in the center um, but uh, yeah I mean this is uh, you know this will connect up pretty easily with your Wi-Fi you know again for whatever reason I have I had glitches I've had glitches with my Wi-Fi and it's probably because of my ISP and you know once I got everything rebooted and reset um, everything seems to be working great with it now so but yeah if uh, you're a weather nut like I am and you want to have your own weather station at your house or your place of work or you know wherever your man cave um, carport garage whatever you can have your own set up right in, you know at your own place and I really like this and you can get updates you know on TV and you know the internet but if you want something you know for your current conditions in your exact location this is probably your best bet and again this is made by Sane Logic I'll put a description in the uh, or a link in the description of my video so if you're interested you can you know purchase one for yourself and again I highly recommend this because I really like this display and the settings and now with the Wi-Fi which my old system did not have I couldn't connect it with my Wi-Fi uh, very easily uh, but now this one is definitely you know a lot more modern and much more better than what I had so hope you enjoyed this uh, open box test and overview of a uh, sane logic this is a WS0310 professional Wi-Fi weather station and if you like it again I'll put a link in the description you can purchase one for yourself through Amazon so hope you enjoyed this video and until next time adios